Hello friends, Tony here. Now we have finished the system management. So we have CRUD for countries, states, cities, departments, also for users. It's time to work with uh, employees. And in this video, I want to create the table for employees. If I open the, the migration for employees, we have first name, last name, middle name, and department ID, country ID, state ID, city ID, also zip code, birth date, and date hire. On the table, I want uh, to display the first name, last name, and uh, I'm going to filter by department, country, state, and city, and also first name, last name, and I'm going to display maybe the department name and the city name. Okay, so we are going to have first name, last name, department name, and city name yeah four of them and also the id and then the action i think we are okay good now let's open the terminal and first we need to make a table class so artisan make table and the table is going to be for the employees the last one very good now let's open the vs code and start and work with that first of all we need to go here on tables and let's navigate where we have uh, states and I'm going to copy what we have here inside the configure method and paste it on the employees configure method okay and then also what we have on the for method and I'm going to paste it right here. We need to import the allowed filters. So import that, also import the collection and from the Illuminate support collection and the query builder. Now the query builder is for employee model. Make sure you import that. And then we are going to search for first name and also let's copy and paste this for the last name. Now we can search also for the middle name, but I'm going to leave it only the first name and the last name. Then the default sort is going to be the ID, the allowed sort is going to be ID, first name, also last name. So let's say here, last name, and the allowed filters is going to be the ID, first name, and also the last name is going to be the country ID of the department ID also let's add the state ID and the city ID so we're going to filter them and I think we are good then let's scroll down the with global search for first name and also last name the column ID also first name is going to be sortable copy paste and say last name sortable then we are going to display the country name and say country copy paste also the department and say department here now this maybe is good to say a city here but let's leave it country now it's up to you or you can display also the city if you want but i'm going to leave it only two because we have already five and the action is six of them so we are okay 
Then we're going to filter by country ID, so we import the country. Then the same thing we are going to do also for state. So let's say state ID, and this is going to be a state model. And we're going to plug the name the array and say the label state, then for the city. So the K is city ID, the label also is city and the model also city model. And the last one, the department. So we are going to filter by department ID, the model is department and we plug the name and the label is going to be department. And I think we are good. Now let's open the uh, employee controller and inside the index method we need to return the view admin dot employees dot index we don't have that we are not we are going to create and we need to add here employees and pass the employee pass the employee employees table. Okay, like this, let's save and now let's create the view. So inside the resources, views, admin. So I'm going to duplicate this and say, not state, but I'm going to say employees. Okay. So here we have now employees go to the index and say instead of states index, we are going to say employees index. The route to create is going to be employees create and also let's change to say new employee here. The table is going to be for employees. And we have uh, we need to add here a single employee. So let's select all of them and say dollar sign employee. And the last one, copy and change the routes also. And I think we are okay. Also delete the employee here. And let's save and let's see on the browser now. If I refresh, Navigate employees and yeah, there are no items to show. And we have a filter here, country, state, city, and department as you can see. Okay, and here we have what fields we have here. We have the ID, last name, first name, last name, country, department, and Aksha. Now to display them, we need to create also the relationship. So let's do that in this video. So let's open the employee model. And here I'm going to say protected. And here, because we have uh, many fields, I'm going to say just forwarded to be an empty array. And then let's make a method for the country. And let's say here, return dollar sign this is going to belong to the country class. Okay, so then let's copy and paste, change the method for this one, which is going to be state and is going to belong the state model. This one is for the city and it's going to belong to the city model. And the last one is for the department and it's going to belong to the department model. And we are okay now with the model. So let's save and let's close. 
and that's it about this video friends i hope you enjoy and now let's see in the next one the create new employee all the best and don't forget if you like such a video like the video and subscribe to my channel for more video like this thank you very much friends